Growing healthy organic tomatoes are not only flavorful, but may also reduce many health risks. By using the guidelines set out in this video, it will result in higher yields of tomato production and limits the risks associated by pests and diseases. There are multiple steps in the tomato cultivation process. The first being climate, followed by land preparation, planting, irrigation, pruning, and harvesting. Climate requirements. Tomatoes being day neutral require high light intensity. The most appropriate temperature for germination is between 20 and 27 degrees Celsius. The condition of the plant will be poor when average temperatures exceed 27 degrees or fall below 20 degrees. Land preparation. Tomatoes can grow on many soil types with appropriate drainage, but preferably in sandy loam soil. The optimum soil pH level is between six and seven. Always avoid land that has been previously planted with tomatoes and other crops, such as pepper and eggplant. This type of land may cause certain diseases and pests to build up. Prepare the field two to three weeks before transplanting. Apply fertilizer to the soil at least a month before planting. Then simply spread and mix the animal manure or compost with the soil. For bed preparation, shape the land into beds so that it facilitates furrow irrigation of the seedlings and drainage after heavy rain. Always make sure the width of the beds is one meter wide and 30 centimeters high. You should also leave one meter wide between each bed. When applying fertilizers, it's required to apply it multiple times throughout the growing season. Since they are heavy feeding plants, to achieve optimum yield, tomatoes need specific nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and potash. Sowing and transplanting. Plant the seeds into the starting trays by pushing them a quarter of an inch into the pockets. Gently water the tray once a day for duration of six to eight weeks. Maintaining a temperature from 20 to 27 degrees Celsius will allow for the proper germination of the seed. After witnessing leaves on the seedling, gently pull out the plant from each pocket of the tray. When transplanting is completed, gently place the seedling deep into the ground. Align the plants in a straight line throughout the field leaving a distance of 50 centimeters between each plant. Mulching. Retaining the moisture of the soil and helping the plant grow upwards is very crucial once seedlings are planted. It is recommended to use organic mulch such as grass clippings, hay, leaves, and sawdust. This provides food for the millions of microorganisms in the soil, thus making the soil nutritious for the plant. A tomato plant grows fast, big, and wild. If left untended, it sprawls out into an unwieldy heap. Staking. As the plant grows, staking is required. Staking of tomatoes is the process of driving a stake or rod into the ground close to the stems. This technique provides support for the plants to grow upwards and not crawl on the ground. It will also avoid soil-borne pathogens. Crop watering, irrigation. To set higher yields and great fruit quality, tomatoes must be irrigated. Newly transplanted tomatoes require daily watering for one to two weeks. After the two week duration, irrigation should be continued once every 10 days until the crop is harvested. Pruning. When growing the tomato plant, always expect the suckers. Suckers are the growth that appears in the crotch between the stem and the branch. It is recommended to trim off these suckers and other dead branches and stems, or else plant maturity will be delayed. By pruning, there comes many advantages, such as early maturity, larger size, improved air circulation, reduction of foliar diseases. 
Crop harvesting. Harvesting the tomatoes can be done any time of the day. However, it is best to harvest in the morning when there is less transpiration and moisture loss of the fruits. Tomatoes are usually harvested at the green and the breaker stage for long distance travel. However, later ripening stages are recommended for immediate use. Avoid fruit injury by proper handling and make sure to not mix damaged and undamaged fruits.